Whether you've worked at Google for years or are lucky enough to have landed one of the most coveted jobs in Silicon Valley and you're looking to relocate, figuring out where to live can be a huge burden. Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share four of the best neighborhoods to live in Silicon Valley as a Google employee. <music> Hi everyone, welcome to another video. If you're looking to relocate for a position at Google, your head might be spinning when it comes to figuring out where you should live here in Silicon Valley. Google is one of the biggest companies that's planted its headquarters here in the area. As of 2019, Google had up to 45,000 employees in the Bay Area, and we all know that that's going to increase dramatically with the downtown San Jose offices. So what is the best neighborhood to live in as an employee at Google? in 2021. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Danny Gould. I'm the CEO of the Selling Silicon Valley Group, and we help people buy and sell homes here in the area. So if there's anything you wanna know when it comes to living anywhere in Silicon Valley, my team is here to help. We are literally getting dozens of phone calls and text messages every single day from people moving and relocating here, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of moving anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area or Silicon Valley, make sure to call, text us, email us, or even send us smoke signals. We're happy to help. Okay, so the first neighborhood is Mountain View. It's the obvious first choice for any Google employee. It's where the headquarters are, the Googleplex is here. So if you wanna avoid any of the Bay Area traffic, you definitely wanna be as close to the Googleplex as possible, assuming that you work there. For Google employees, if you work at the Googleplex, the closest place to live, is Mountain View. Mountain View isn't just close by, it's a fantastic place to spend time outdoors and enjoy the beautiful weather we get here in the Bay Area. It's tech friendly, commuter friendly, and easily accessible. It also has great public transportation too, so you can get wherever you need to visit to in the Bay Area using public transportation from Mountain View. Now, one thing to keep in mind about Mountain View, it is one of the more expensive areas to live here in the Bay Area. Median home prices here can start anywhere of upwards of about $1.7 million and rent can be as high as $5,000 a month. Now, if you're hoping for something a little bit more in the million dollar price range, available homes in Mountain View in that price point are gonna be mostly townhomes and condos. So the con about that is for those kinds of properties in Mountain View, being at the price that they're at, it's definitely way higher than it is in, in other areas surrounding Mountain View. So in essence, you're paying the same price for less house. If the high cost of living in Mountain View is out of your range, another neighborhood to look at is Milpitas. Milpitas is a great place for anyone who's just starting out. They're young, they're starting a new career, and buying a home is a new milestone for you. Assuming that you work at headquarters at the Googleplex, Milpitas is just across the 237, which makes it really easy to get to. It does get pretty congested, though, during the weekdays, but we also have access to BART and the VTA light rail for public transportation in Milpitas as well. The education and the schools in Milpitas are also also very good as well. So it's a very family friendly town and definitely one that I would recommend if you're looking for something that's a little bit less in terms of cost of living, but even better in some cases in terms of education. Now, an important thing to be aware of when it comes to Milpitas is that it is known for not smelling great. There is definitely an undeniable odor in Milpitas and everyone does know about it. It's gotten better over the years, but the smell has been around for decades. The culprit is the landfill nearby and the sewage pumping station. It's probably a combination of those two. Since Milpitas is downwind from these facilities, you just kind of get the wind that kind of blows the smell in at certain times of the day. So the city continues to say that they have plans to alleviate it, but it's not a quick fix. So if Milpitas is on your radar, definitely I would say suggest that you go and you experience the smell and, and make sure that it's something that you can live with. But over 80,000 people do live here in Milpitas, so it's not unbearable by any means. And it's definitely worth knowing about before you move there though. The next neighborhood I would consider living in is Berryessa. Berryessa is a district in North San Jose 
very similar to Milpitas and it's close to Milpitas as well. It's got significantly lower cost of living than Mountain View. Commuting is easy from Berryessa. We have access to VTA and BART. It's definitely very congested in Berryessa, but it's accessible. The one con that I would say about Berryessa is that the feel of the neighborhood isn't really established. It really doesn't know what it wants to be. There are some suburban parts, some urban parts. It's not a suburbia per se. It, it just kind of feels discombobulated. So the environment isn't like the best, but it's definitely a great place to live if you're looking for great schools and great commute. The last location I would consider living in is Los Altos and Los Altos Hills. This neighborhood is definitely where you're gonna find more established families in the area. It's the most expensive neighborhood to be in of all the ones that I've discussed today. And home prices are gonna be anywhere between three to $4 million. But that definitely comes with a bigger house on a bigger piece of land. Silicon Valley, as congested as it is, Los Altos is gonna give you more space than your typical Silicon Valley residence. The beautiful part too is that it's very close to Mountain View, so your commute shouldn't be as long at all. In fact, you don't even have to take freeways, it's that close. The public education in Los Altos and Los Altos Hills is also very, very good. So you've got a lot more space, you've got great education, you've got close proximity to the Googleplex. So all in all, it's a phenomenal neighborhood to plant some roots in Silicon Valley. So that's it. Those are my top four neighborhoods to live in while working at Google. And of course, there are plenty of other areas to check out as well. Silicon Valley has a place for everyone, but for Google employees, I highly recommend checking out those four neighborhoods first. If you'd like even more information regarding any Silicon Valley community, or if you're looking at buying or selling any property in the San Francisco Bay Area, feel free to text me, call me at the number down below, and I can help you out. This is Danny Gould with the Selling Silicon Valley Group, and I will catch all of you in the next video.